everyone and welcome to today's devotional. I uh, hope you're all well. I'm not really sure what day devotional it is. It feels like day 100 in lockdown, but it's probably only day 20. Um, but if you're anything like me and are losing track of the days, then we are all in the same boat. Um, so today I'm going to be continuing in our Easter theme and I'm going to be reading from Mark 15. And the verse that I really want to focus on today is verse 23. But before that, we see, um, you know, Jesus has been arrested. Um, he's been ordered by Pilate to be crucified. Um, and then he's been given over to the soldiers and been beaten and been mocked. Um, and then we jump in at verse 21, which begins to talk about the crucifixion of Jesus. OK, so it says a certain man from Sion, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing on his way in from the country and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And then they crucified him, dividing up his clothes. They cast lots to see what each would get. So. The verse that I wanted to focus on was 23, and it says they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And some versions call it gal, so they say wine mixed with gal. So I looked into what gal actually is, um, because I've read this before, you know, many times before, but I've never really thought about it. So I looked at, into what gal is. It says gal most often refers to a bitter tasting substance made of a plant such as wormwood or myrrh. So that's why some versions call it myrrh. Wine mixed with bitter herbs or myrrh creates a mixture that dulls the sense of pain. The mixture of sour wine and gal was often given to those suffering to ease their pain in death. So this mixture was used as a painkiller to ease suffering and Jesus didn't take it in Matthew's gospel it actually says after he tasted it he refused it so after he tasted it and realized what it was then he refused it and I thought how easy do I reach for painkillers when I have a headache or a toothache or whatever but Jesus had been beaten whipped and thorns put into his head so this was way more than a headache or a toothache or any pain that I'll ever experience. And he was offered painkillers, but he didn't take it. And I thought, why? Simply because it wasn't his to take. So then I asked my question, like I asked myself a question, are we taking things that are not ours to take? The temptation at this time is to go back to something that's comfortable, something that's going to ease the pain. Our worlds have just been tipped upside down and, you know, we don't know what we're doing from one day to the next. Everything that we thought we knew has completely changed. Thought we was doing, thought we knew, thought this was going to happen or that was going to happen, but everything's changed in the blink of an eye. And there is the temptation to go back to something that's comfortable. And it will be different for each of us. For one, it could be an addiction. But for another, it could be a thought pattern, a bad habit, a bad attitude, self-pity, texting someone that you know you probably shouldn't. It's going to be different for each of us. But the verse of the day on the Bible app today was so on point. It says, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I thought about the argument between Jesus' flesh and spirit at that moment. The flesh crying out for something to ease the pain. And the spirit saying no, a firm no. Because the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. In this time, temptation will come. Let's just be real, like temptation's gonna be temptation's gonna come because everything that we thought we knew has just changed. And the desires of our flesh will be heightened and it is gonna be so easy to reach for something 
that makes us feel comfortable, that satisfies the desires of our flesh, that makes us feel good. You know, but let's remember what Jesus did in the midst of this terrible pain and suffering when he was offered something that could ease that pain. He refused because it wasn't his. It wasn't his to take. So let's not accept something that is comfortable, but let's rely on the comforter. The spirit is willing. The spirit is willing to help us. The spirit is willing to guide us. So I thank you for tuning in today and I really pray that this speaks to you as it has spoken to me and helps me to continue to focus in this time. Have an amazing Easter and I will see you again soon. Bye.